The big day has finally come, the one that we've all been waiting for. <laughs> it's now just a couple hours away, the total solar eclipse. And, you know, seeing it is just a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm happy to be here. We hope, but you want to be prepared. So what can you expect and what will the weather be like? Three News Now meteorologist Ryan the McPikester <laughs> is back, back again yeah. with the most up to date info. This we is are, great to hey, have you in the building. Well, yeah, it's good to be on here again. And I'll tell you what, guys, uh, we're kind of looking at a little sunshine trying to break through out there. So, yes, I know. Oh. Fingers crossed because everybody's like, where's the best this spot? This morning was a little frightening. It is. It was a little. Th those clouds yeah. were moving really fast, though. So hopefully yeah. out of the way. Nasty storms. Yeah, I think we're done with the rain. That could be a bigger thing tonight. Mm -hmm. But as far as the eclipse forecast goes, uh, looks like that's probably done with. I'm worried about cloud cover, though. That's going to be the big thing here. In fact, uh, I've got a little slew of graphics put together here, guys. Take we'll us through. through. All right, we'll go through. Uh, that's the radar. No more rain. If you were watching us a few hours ago, we had a lot of yellow, orange, and red showing up there. Uh, you can see most of that's pushed into parts of Iowa. A few storms trying to develop over northeastern Nebraska, or northeastern Kansas, rather, and extreme southeastern Nebraska. I'm more worried about cloud cover. You can see there's not a whole lot going on across the state here, which is good news. And as we bring it back in, there are breaks in the overcast. You can see that down over southeastern and central Nebraska. The problem is some of that's low cloud cover and fog. And then obviously the couple of big bright white bullseyes there would be uh, clouds and storms. So really across the country, uh, cloud cover is going to be kind of the concern as far as obstructing visibility. Uh, this says the farther west in the state you go, the better chance you'd see some clearing. I think we're going to be kind of 50-50 here, which isn't horrible, although this graphic still is trying to say oh. otherwise. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just picking up on the cloud covers, what this graphic is. Yeah. And uh, I think we'll see some breaks in between. It's not going to be perfect, but I don't think we're a complete bust here but, on this You know, either, it's so. going to be kind of cool just to see it get dark and feel it, the temperature change. I mean, you're still going to be a, seeing something. Absolutely. And and, yeah, absolutely. And it's the interesting thing is this actually starts at 1138 as a partial, so... Uh, we're coming up on just a couple hours away. We max out with 98.5% coverage at 104, and then it exits at 230. And again, it's starting in Oregon here very shortly, and then runs all the way down toward Charleston, South Carolina. There's a lot of celebrating going on down there this morning. Uh, this is one of my favorite graphics. It kind of des describes some of what we might see. Uh, Kelly, that diamond ring one, it, it may be tough Ooh. here, but that one, you see that third bling, one? Bling. That one's there for you. Emily got a kick out of that this oh, morning. Oh, you're so. saying you got me a ring, Ryan. Yeah, well, you got we'll me. see. This is moving fast, oh, Ryan. Oh, my we'll, goodness. We'll see. Yes, it, it's <laughs> they are both single. Very, very fast. Hey, well, you don't know about that now. <laughs> oh, wait. Ryan and I are Ryan not dating, everyone. Ryan and I are not like... dating, just so everyone knows. Um, wow, the eclipse forecast took a left turn there, didn't it? <laughs> and now we're all Mercy. blushing. <laughs> well, 